Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up proximity chat in Among Us using better crew link. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So this is going to be an update to my previous crew link video. This is a new version of crew link, better crew link. It has some nice new features. It works much better and it's much more stable than the previous version. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the download of better crew link. What you need to do is come here and we're going to be downloading whatever the latest version is. At the time of recording this video, it's 2.6.4. All you need to do is come here to the version, look for downloads, and we're simply going to be downloading via GitHub. Simply left click this and your download will begin. Once once your download is done, move it to a location where you can find it easily. Currently I have it on my desktop right here. And all we're going to be doing is double clicking to launch this. We're going to get this installing pop up right here and this might take a couple of seconds. From this point, we'll get this small window pop up right away. It'll say waiting for Among Us. What we can do from this point is simply click open game and it's going to automatically launch our Steam version of Among Us. And you can see just like that, my game is launched. From this point, if I go back to better crew link, you can see it's in the menu and you can see public lobbies right here. And this is a really nice feature where you can actually click this and join other public lobbies of people who are using better crew link. However, what I'm going to be doing is simply moving this to the side and just continuing on Among Us for the moment. So what you need to do from this point, once you see the menu here, is join any lobby that you would like to use crew link in. So from this point, what I'm going to be doing is just joining any random public lobby. And you'll see as soon as I join this lobby, I'll see the update on crew link. I'll see the server code right here and it matches what we have in the game. And I will see all other users who are currently logged into this game. Now next to a lot of these people, you will see the disconnect icon. That is because they don't actually have crew link downloaded and installed and are using it in this current game. So any user users that you want to actually talk to while using crew link will need to download crew link to be able to use it. So here you can see a previous lobby where me and my friend Linka were connected together in crew link. You can see both of our user profiles on the right hand side and you can see we both show up in crew link without any errors or without any issues. So from this point we're going to be taking a look at some of the settings in crew link. I'll be walking you through a few of them. To open up your settings we need to open up crew link. We need to click on the cogwheel here on the top left and here we will see some different information. So the first thing we can do is change the lobby settings. We can change the voice distance. You can change this via the slide right here. Below this here we can set up a public lobby. If we enable this we will allow other users to join our public lobby kind of like what we've seen at the start of crew link that I mentioned a little bit earlier. We can set up that walls block audio. We can hear people in vision only. We can set up that posters can hear the dead. We can set up that we can hear the imposters in vents. We can set up private talk in vents. We can set it up that sabotaging comms disables voice. I think this is a really cool feature. We can set up that whoever's manning the cameras can hear through them. We can set up an imposter radio. Only ghosts can talk slash hear. And then we can set up meetings and lobby chat only. You can really easily change the volume of all of their users by hovering over their username and you can simply turn up or down the volume here using this slider, which is another nice option. Below this a little bit further, we will then have our audio settings. So the first thing we can do is set up our microphone here. It'll be by default on your windows. We can select any other connected microphone right here. Below this then we will also have your speaker. You can select this again. It'll be default, but you can choose anything else. And a little bit further here, we can also test your speaker if you want to make sure it's the right one. A little bit further then we'll have our voice communication settings. By default, it'll be on voice activity. So whenever it picks up noise or talking from your microphone it will start speaking otherwise you can set up push to talk so you have to press a button to start talking or you can set up push to mute so you have to press a button to mute yourself below this we can set up microphone level and microphone sensitivity for me the defaults of both of these were fine however you can feel free to change these here you can set up the crew volume as ghost and then you can set up the master volume for everything here as well we then have a number of keyboard shortcuts if you want to play around with anything here for your push to talk imposter radio for your mute and then for your deafen and then finally we have some overlay settings here at the bottom we can set up better crew link on top so it'll always show on top enable the overlay in among us we can set up a compact overlay if you want it to be a little bit smaller the meeting overlay and then we can set up the position of our overlay and you can choose anything here in this drop down finally we have some advanced settings you can set up a nat fix if you're having a strict or some issues with your nat you can feel free to check this it might be able to help out with that then finally you can change our voice server by default it's using the better link voice server itself however if you'd like to create and customize your own server you can feel free to do that and simply replace that here as mentioned this is mostly for advanced users and you'll always have to reset to default here if you ever need it. And then a little bit further, we have our beta and debug section where we can set up some beta features. By default, these will all be enabled. We can then change the language. And then finally, we have some streaming settings where we can show lobby code. And then finally, we have our OBS browser overlay. Again, if you'd like to see a full video of me going through this, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get around to it. And then finally, here you have restore defaults, which will change all the settings here to the default like they were when you first installed CrewLink. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to use proximity chat using better CrewLink on Among Us. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always, keep it saucy.
Peace.